is going on YouTube welcome back to another YouTube video today I'm gonna make it very short and uh, straight to the point so subscribe if you do enjoy today's video make sure to give it a good like um, you can just like if you want I mean I don't really care um, but liking definitely helps me out and subscribing definitely helps me out as well um, just comment below whether you like the Mustang Mac E better or the regular Mustang that they've made for years and years um, but yeah today's video will be about Ford actually building more Mustang Mach E's than the regular Mustang that they've made forever um, so times are changing and EVs are getting more popular as the days go by and incentives from government actually make these Mustangs look like a better deal but I mean if you look at it, the Mach-E's are actually outperforming the gas-powered Mustangs by about 1,800 units per this year. Um, and it states that in 2021, the production numbers are clear. 27,816 Mach-E's and 26,089 gas-powered Mustangs. So this is pretty, it's not too bad of a gap, um, but there are people that you know want the Mach-E because it is a V and they don't really care about the Mustang heritage and the Mustang name that it has attached to it so with this Mustang Mach-E they actually made it an SUV and while they still you know have parts like the tail lights and whatnot that are actually still from the Mustang it kinda slaughters the name that the Mustang actually had because you're taking a brand new sports car that's been around since at least since 1965 for sure um, and they're just pretty much making it into an SUV without giving it too much thought and they're making it more available towards other people that really want to push the EVs and they want to go with an electric vehicle so with this in mind I think it's very clear that Ford is really going EV and they don't really care about slaughtering names like the Mustang and whatnot um, because at the end of the day they are a business and they have to take care of business and they want to produce as much money as they can selling the units that they want to sell um, and with this in mind places like Norway are actually giving the government incentives and they're very strong just like um, California did with the Tesla incentives that pretty much allowed everyone to buy a Tesla and everyone is getting a Tesla because of the incentives. It has actually become the best selling vehicle in Norway, which is kind of weird considering that, you know, you don't really think that such a new car, a Mach E, would be the best selling vehicle in Norway. You'd kind of expect it to be maybe a Tesla. Um, it actually said that the Mach E sold 1384 units, so just over a thousand units in Norway last month. And keep in mind, this is a fairly new car, and it was about 10% of all vehicles sold there. So one vehicle model was 10% of all that was sold there. So with this in mind, we obviously see Ford is pushing their EV vehicles more and more with, you know, vehicles like the Mustang Mach-E and the Ford Lightning, which they're bringing back, you know, awesome vehicles, but they're not doing so in a very good way, I don't think. But I mean whatever makes them money at this point and it is said that they plan to offer 40 electrified vehicles globally by 2022 so that's just a year away with 16 of those fully electric so things like the lightning and the mach e are going to be fully 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 electric and the other 24 are going to be plug-in hybrids which i mean you're not going to hear the awesome sounds of the v8 anymore you're just going to hear a tiny buzz which I mean, I'm kind of bummed about, but I mean, whatever to make the environment great. Ford's EV plans are actually very, very, very strong in Europe, and they expect all of its passenger vehicles to be electric by 2030. And this is all electric, no plug-in hybrids or anything like that. So it's very interesting to see Ford's take on it, considering that they have changed the Mustang name and they've kind of slaughtered the lightning name as well considering that it was f-150 with that being said that is the end of today's video i know it was super short i meant it to be super short because it's not really something that it's it's all too big and it's all hyped up to be
I'm just letting you know that Ford is going to make changes in the future whether we like it or not, such as the names Mustang Mach-E. They're kind of introducing a new playing field. They're messing with EVs and they're kind of going to get rid of their brand new cool names that they had before. With that in mind, just make sure to give this a subscribe. Make sure I'm at 59 subscribers. It would be lovely if I actually hit 60 subscribers. I'm going to be doing uploads every day, hopefully. Um, and yeah, just if you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment which you prefer better. The regular Mustang, the V8 model, or the Mach-E model. Thank you.